This week on Sport Fishing, we're down in Dana Point, California, where we'll be fishing out of Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. And we're gonna be aboard the Clemente, the boat that's right behind me. So it's early morning, we're gonna take off soon, stop at the bait receiver, get some bait, and then head north and fish along the coast. And the goal is to look for calico bass, barracuda, and maybe even yellowtail or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. We got a calico bass going here, Chubba. There it comes. There he is, color. Little calico right here. A couple years ago, that would have been legal. Now it's a little short. Thanks. Good man. There you go. Good go one. He's worth a measure. Yep. There you go. Maybe that's the one that's biting on yours. Maybe, Thank you. Maybe. Right. If you want to start working to your left, we'll get away from the Sanko line. Okay. It's a big black seat. Is it a black? Oh, it's a big white. It's a big white. Get a gap. Get a gap. All right, he's spinning out. It's a good, it's a white tea bath. You're ready, go. Yeah. Woo! Whoa! off the Newport right now. Got a nice legal white sea bass. Haven't seen the legal white sea bass in a long time. There's color. Oh, nice calico. Nice calico. There we go. Nice calico bass. Fishing aboard the Clemente today. And uh, it's just fishing whole sardine and got that fish. All right, let's go ahead and release it. Nice cow, though. Foul hooks. That's how you catch a fish without you. Got him swimming by. That's right. What's your name? Seth. Seth? Number six. What kind of bait were you fishing, Seth? It's a uh, sardine. Sardine? Yeah. Keeper calico on the sardine. What number? Six. Six? Yeah. Awesome. Put this guy in the bag. A little smaller than your last one, right? Yeah. But uh, still a keeper. Number 11. Number 11? Yeah. All right. A nice quality model.
Nice trash. Yeah, this guy. This guy was pretty close. Head short. Corner head short. Alright, we got a nice hey. sand bass on the sardine. What's your name? Albert. Albert? Albert just got a Fish nice deep. sand Fish bass. Deep. Oh, on the bottom. What number are you, Albert? 26. 26. Good work. Thank you. A little small lately, but still having a blast on Dan's trip. So this one actually looks like it's a male. Um, the biggest sheep head in the group will turn male. Um, only in California. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mike Schott. I'm the director of the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. Another really interesting animal I find in local kelp forests is the sheephead. All sheepheads start out when they first sexually mature as females. Uh, they stay in groups that re they refer to as harems that have one male sheephead that's in charge of that particular harem and does all the reproducing with those females. If that one big male that looks totally different than the females, by the way, um, he's got a white chin like they do, he's got a big lumpy head, black head, and then a red bar in the middle and a black tail, and much larger than the females. If that male is taken out of that harem, one of the females in the harem becomes dominant, takes over, and turns into a functional male and is in charge of that harem. Tip with tip. <laughs> Let's work. Oh, Once thank you get you. them out, you're real, real, real. Quarter inch too short, huh? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. What do you think it's going to do? It? <laughs> nice work. Going overboard. <laughs> Keeper Bass, what number are you, man? Uh, nice work. To a dropper loop rig, Skipper made a little move and I hooked something on the bottom. I don't know what I got. Let's see if he's still there. It is a tiny calico. This is about as small as calico as you can catch. A little tiny fish. Alright, well, I've caught some bigger ones today, so that's a little one for the day. Let's take a little break from the action board the Clementi and go to the tackle box. Give you a good look at the gear we're using today. Tackle box. We're in Norwalk, California at Turner's Outdoorsman, and standing next to me is Kyle, the fishing manager. Hey, Kyle, thanks for having us out Thank today. Thank you, Dan. So, in today's episode, Kyle, we're fishing um, right along the coast. We left out of Dana Point and we're up by Newport Beach now, picking away at the calico bass. We know there's white sea bass, halibut in the area, but the calicos are biting really good on everything from anchovies, sardines, bucktails, a cut squid, and I think there's an opportunity for some surface fishing too on the iron and stuff. Can you suggest a rod and reel for this type of fishing? Yeah, absolutely. So we have our new uh, Californian Trihelix rod made by Phoenix for us. Uh, this is a 15 to 30 pound rod, and we have it paired up with Daiwa's new Saltiga single speed reel. Um, great for fishing the live bait, and works perfect for the smaller surface irons. Cool. And those calicos, when they're right up on the surface, something like this, this particular lure is made by Taddy. There's lots of different brands out there, and you guys have a wide selection of jigs here that people can come find out and learn about. Correct. And this jig, when you see a jig that has a belly on one side and flat on the other, that tells you it's designed to fish really slow on the surface. But you can come in and see Kyle. They'll be glad to give you information on different jigs and different techniques to use. Absolutely. Now, as far as the little bit deeper fish, we're catching them today on the bucktails and just using a strip of squid or whole squid on there and the calicos really seem to be active on them. And the other thing we're seeing in today's episode, right along the kelp, a lot of active calicos. You could fly line a bait like an outfit like you talked about. 
Again, you can go with different size hooks. And here at the store, they've got all the different brands of hooks so you can come and check out the different brands. The Mustads for the sardines, I like these. For the calicos, the thinner wire black nickel hooks, what do you think about them? I like a thinner wire hook for the calicos as well. Um, smaller presentation on the water, get your bait to swim a little bit better. Yeah, when you go fishing, you never know if you're going to have sardines or anchovies. This particular size here, 3.0, is good for the sardines. What do you recommend for the anchovies? Something in a number one, number two, depending on what the bait size is. But like you said, you got to come out with a whole variety of hooks. All right. And as far as line tests that they should be bringing in? Anywhere from 12, 15, sometimes even up to 20, depending on what you're throwing. Yeah, and if there's white sea bass and yellow, I'd have one 30 pound too. Exactly. You know, and it's been a different year this year. Traditionally, we would say on a three quarter day trip, nothing heavier than 20, 25. Mm -hmm. This year, there's been so many big fish so close to shore. Even half day boats, guys are taking 30 and 40 pounds. Absolutely, you gotta walk out with that heavy stuff too. Yeah, you never know. So for more information about fishing tackle and selection, you can come over to Turners Outdoors, Ben Kyle, the guys here, be glad to show you all the different gear. Well, thanks for helping us out today. Thanks, Dan. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Uh, don't move up so far. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> so this is the California scorpion fish. They have venom in all these spines, even all the ones on their face, a couple down here. And basically it's a, it's a hollow needle that they have on their spines and it has bacteria in there. And once that bacteria gets in your skin, it gets really itchy and in, inflamed and stuff like that. So you want to stay away from these guys. Sometimes if you're allergic, it won't be that good. It's like a bee sting, but times 10. Nice little female sheep head. This girl's gonna be a little bit too small, so we're gonna go ahead and toss her back. Good job, what's your name? Erin. Erin? Good job. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Alright, good. Nice calico on a circle hook. Pitches right in the corner of the mouth. Good job. Yep. Thank you. This is a Johnny Bass. It's actually a type of rockfish. The reason we call it a Johnny Bass is because it does kind of look like a bass, but it's actually in the rockfish family. There's no size limit, but this guy's just a little kid, so we'll throw him back. Yeah. Here's a nice calico bass. Nice calico bass. Keep her for sure. Yeah, nice much. There you go. So we're still fishing Newport area. And fly lining live sardines. We've been waiting for the current to change. That's what the, kept, the skipper kept telling us. Need conditions to change a little bit. We had slack current there, slack tide for a while. It's finally switching over and the fish are starting to bite right on the surface. Nice calico. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching today.